In today's video, I wanted to show you guys the new class system and the new skill trees for Defiance 2050. So, if you have never played Defiance before, this is the old skill tree that I'm showing right now. And this is what you would get for any class. You'd pick your class, which would come with uh, a preset gun. And uh, that wouldn't really matter because you could get different guns down the road. But uh, So this is what you would get. You would start with one of these abilities. And then you would move on to the smaller abilities around that. The first ability you get is dependent on which class you chose. So you would get your, your main ability. And then you could pick these passive skills around your main ability. And you could equip, I think, three of them. And then you could move all the way down to, say, uh, the ability at the bottom here. And then I think eventually you could just kind of max all the skills out. But in 2050, things are a lot, lot different. So if we look at the 2050 skill tree, you can see that it's nowhere near the same. So in the 2050 skill tree, you start with one main skill. Uh, depending on what class you have. So the Assault class was the only class you were allowed to play in the beta. So uh, I had to start with the uh, Assault class. So you would get your main ability, and then as you level that up, you would start to unlock these three passive skills underneath your main ability. And then once you hit a certain uh, point threshold, you would then unlock your new abilities, which are equipable abilities, uh, these, these two down below. So you could pick between one of one of the two. So you can only have three equipped. So you could have the top one, the top skill, one of these two middle skills, and then one of these two skills at the bottom. So that's your three that you can have equipped. And then all the little skills that you see are your passive skills, and they will just help you out in, in uh, different passive ways, like doing more damage with shotguns, doing more damage with assault rifles and subs, or reducing the cool time on grenades, stuff like that. So that's how the skill tree is set up now. So you don't have all the skills for just one class. You would have to switch to your assassin, guardian, or combat medic. I'll get to those in a second, but you can see them on the left here. And that's how you would have to get your separate skills, unlike the previous game where you could just get all your skills on one character. So now it's character-based, which uh, I think it plays into the MMO genre a lot better because people will have a purpose. They'll have a, an actual purpose. Uh, not to say that you can't just switch over to your other classes, though. It takes, like, I don't know, six seconds to switch to another loadout. All right, so let's look at the classes we have for Defiance 2050. The classes are the same as Defiance, except there's one different one. So if we look, we start with Assault. Uh, again, the Assault was the only one you could play in the beta, so all the other ones were locked. And uh, so how unlocking the classes will, will go is... When you play more and more, you'll get a currency that will unlock. you can use to unlock a different class. So you can do it in-game, but there is Founders Packs you can uh, you can buy as well to have all of them unlocked uh, right off the get-go. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I'll go over the Founders Packs in a separate episode to see if they're, you know, they're truly worth it or not. So I'm going to leave that off to the side. So up first, we have the Assault. The Assault class focuses on movement, self-sustain, and mid-to-close range weaponry. So, the Assault class, I believe he starts with an AR. Uh, again, when you the weapon you start with doesn't really matter. You're going to be getting new weapons all the time. And it's not like, say, if I have the Assault, I'm doing a lot more damage with Assault Rifles compared to the Combat Medic or something. Each weapon, uh, or each class, can use whatever weapon they want, upgrade the weapon to whatever they want so they can have their own play style and do whatever they want. You're not going to be stuck, you know, if if you're a guy that loves assault rifles, you're not going to be like, oh man, I can only play assault because assault rifles are super powerful with assault. So that's not going to happen. <clears throat> but the assault is basically your lone wolf. He, he can do everything on his own. So he's like your one-man army. He can run in and uh, do everything himself, but, I mean, you're going to die still. It's Defiance. There's a lot of weird, difficult areas, you know. You could, uh, I remember there's one mission where there's just these mutated cleavers that run at you, and they'll just one-hit you down to all your shield down at half health. So you got to be really careful, but still, uh, this guy has some good abilities to uh, regain all of his health, all of his shield and whatnot. But we're not going to be focusing on the abilities right now i'm gonna wait until the full game comes out to to do an overview on each ability just because they could tweak stuff and whatnot and i don't want to <clears throat> i don't want to make a messed up video that that is irrelevant when the game fully releases all right next up we see the assassin he's wearing some nice black clothing you can see that the guns aren't showing up in the uh in the preview and that's just because i went through them really quickly and i had to screenshot each of them quickly so the gun didn't have a second to render in but that's okay 
So it says the assassin class focuses on stealth and increased damage output. So this is going to be like your your sniper guy. He's going to go for like invis plays. He'll probably his main ability will probably be invis, and he's gonna he's gonna go around trying to snipe people and do heavy damage with the snipers. So that's that's going to be kind of his his forte. It's not going to be your one man army like the assault class is, but uh, his increased damage output. It's probably gonna probably gonna push him up there for one of the better people to use, just because kind of want that increased damage output. I'm not sure if it's gonna apply to all weapons. I doubt it. I think it's probably just gonna be snipers, pistols, stuff that's you know stealthy. That's actually stealthy. Up next is the guardian. The guardian class has high vitality as well as sustain and crowd control. So this is the guy that's gonna be going in, uh, stunning enemies and whatnot. Confusing them, you know, kind of, kind of drawing aggro, maybe stuff like that, and then just getting out. He's like a, he's like a quick, uh, shotgun guy who's gonna take care of disorienting enemies. I guess you could say, he's he's a very upfront kind of guy, and that that's he's not a tank per se, but he's like a, he's like the scout in TF2. You know, he's gonna go in, uh, get people all riled up, get the enemies all riled up, and then get the hell out, or just you know jump around and shotgun whatever he's got to do. Or however you play him. You, you could play him a completely different way. It's up to you how you play these characters. It's just their skills that are different. Their skill trees. Finally, we have the combat medic. The combat medic has healing for themselves and others as well as provides useful combat buffs. So this is your like true support. This is the guy who's going to go in there. His main focus will be healing. So he'll be... Uh, you know, popping off on, on whatever it is. Maybe you're doing a, an arc fall and there's the... Uh, Hellbug Helion, and you're you're killing the the big Hellbug Mama, and he's just gonna be kind of in the back, uh, probably with uh, something long range LMG assault rifle, uh, pounding down at the at the Hellbug Helion, and and then just throwing out heals, throwing out combat buffs because combat buffs are gonna be super important. Uh, I'm really worried about the heals for this guy because healing really doesn't seem like that useful unless it's a skill you have to heal yourself, which he does have. But, I mean, the the Assault has a skill that will literally bring them back to full health, full shield. So I'm not too sure how they're going to balance healing. And I'll get into that in a separate video because I've got a video idea for uh, things that should be tweaked. Uh, things that should be changed. So I'm not sure how, how well he's going to do with the healing aspect because uh, if someone goes down, you know, it's super easy to revive them, super easy to get them back into the fight. There's not many times where I'm, like, low on health. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to need someone to heal me. Usually it's like, okay, I just got hit down to half, all my shield, half my health. If I get shot a couple more times, I'm dead. So I just kind of have to hide. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe he'll have a, a spot. Maybe he'll have a good spot. But the combat buffs are going to be super important. That's the main thing. All right, so that is all four of the main classes, the, the base classes, I should say, for Defiance 2050. But there is one more class that is uh, going to be coming in, they said, the dev said about two weeks after uh, the launch of Defiance 2050, the actual launch. So this is the Demolitionist class. The Demolitionist class is going to be focused on demo things. So grenade launchers, uh, rocket launchers, uh, probably grenades, you know, stuff that goes boom. They're going to be really focused on stuff that goes boom. That's their, that's their whole fourth day. So these are going to be these or this character, this class is going to be a premium class. They've said now that's that's a scary word, and I wish they didn't use the word premium for uh, for that. But that basically means you can buy them straight up with money, as you can do the same with the base classes, or you can get them later on in the game. I'm not sure how later on, but because it's a premium class, I think it'll probably be a lot later on. Where you'll have to do, you'll either have to get some sort of currency or do some unlock. But the really cool thing with the premium classes uh, and these new classes that they're going to be adding in later on, and I'll get into those yet again in another video because I want to do a a look into the future type of thing on each different class that they're going to be adding. So the demo class is going to have its own storyline. You're going to know how the demolitionist came into defiance, how he became a thing. How his life started, you know, how he it became the demolitionist and what his purpose is in the Defiance world. So I thought that was a really cool idea. And uh, I feel like this class is going to be another sort of 
support class. They're going to be really heavy hitters from the back. They're going to be supporting like ARs or people with subs. And they're going to be just launching nades, launching rockets, and it's going to be doing, you know, lots of AoE damage. So, uh, something like an arc fall, or not even an arc fall, like a, an incursion where you have to defend the point. That would be perfect because you would have so much, so much firepower going down in one specific area, and the AoE would damage so many people, and then the assault could just clean them up. Or, well, I mean, the assault rifle, or the sub, whatever, whatever the character's using, whoever's using it, they can just clean them up. So that's what, uh, that's what these guys are gonna be focused on. Expect lots of damage, lots of extra damage skills for grenades, uh, for things that go boom, basically. And that's what their purpose is gonna be. I'm really excited about this class. And one thing they did mention is if you buy the Demolitionist Founders Pack, you'll get the suit that they're wearing. I don't know if it's that one in the picture, but they did say a a exclusive cosmetic for the game, which is really cool. I like when they, I like when free-to-play games add cosmetics. It's it's worth your time to buy it because you want to look cool, but also it uh, doesn't impact the game too much. And I feel like that's where they're going with Defiance, and I'm I'm really excited about it. So I think that's about it for a look at the new class system in Defiance 2050. Uh, I'm really happy about the system. I know that a lot of people are going to be disappointed because they want their massive skill tree on one character, but I think it really plays to an MMO, what it should be, with the different skill trees and everyone having different skills, having a different purpose. You don't want some OP guy just running around being able to do everything. I think that's really dumb, and I think that having a different skill tree, having a different purpose for each class really makes sense and is really a good idea for this game. I thank everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Defiance video.